<laughs> so good morning, good afternoon, or good evening from whenever you're watching this. And today I like to start with this uh, chakra yoga um, practice. So today I would like to focus on the roots and the sacral, and then we'll move through the chakras in the next upcoming weeks, uh, up and up and up. So you can come to a comfortable seat and we'll start with some grounding and some breathing. Um, if you need any props, make sure they are close to you. So any cushions or blocks, blankets. And yeah, the root and the chakra are like in the lower part of the body. So that's sort of why we're going to be a lot on the ground and do also yin yoga to help to ground and to root and to balance ourselves from from the pelvic floor, the sacral era area. So let's take a couple of breaths in through the nose, out of the mouth. Two more, inhale and release. And another one. And exhale. Notice if you can feel the sit bones on the ground, rooting down into the earth. And bring the shoulders on top of the hips, long spine, long neck, throat, reaching through the top of the head up to the sky. Relax the shoulders, relax your jaw. I am grounded, I am rooted, I am stable, I am strong. I am grounded, I am rooted, I am stable, I am strong. Bring the attention down to the pelvic floor and the sacral area. So let all the energy on top of your head, just wash down and relax down into this bowl in your lap that is holding you, carrying you from the legs up. And then for a moment, coming into the heart. You can bring your hands on your heart, maybe interlacing the fingers, bringing the hands on the heart to connect here, tuning into your hearts. How does your heart feel today, this morning? Setting an intention for your practice. My intention is to really sink into my body, to invite my soul to be in my body. So if you feel cold, you can also invite your soul to be here and you can do this several times throughout the practice throughout the day. Just call it back and be with you and inside of you or all around you. And then release the hands. We'll do a breathing exercise, which will be three rounds. And um, it's a breathing exercise that I often do before I go into for a cold swim, so into the cold ocean. And we, <coughs> sorry, uh, we exhale all the air out and we start to do a connected breath where you inhale and exhale through the mouth. 
And you try to really inhale to the lower belly. So don't keep it up in the chest, but really make it low. And because it's the first thing we do now, you can start slow and we'll do three rounds. So the second and the third round will go faster. And each round we do 33 times. So you can count in your head. And then at the end, and I will also remind you, we exhale all the air out and we inhale. Exhale again for 75% and then hold. And while we're holding, you are also um, engaging your pelvic floor and putting the thumb, thumb to the roof of the mouth and focusing on your third eye. So then you retain your breath, you hold it in as long as you can. And then when you can any longer, you exhale or you inhale, sorry. And again, you do the same, you hold and retain. And then when we release, we start with the second round, but I'll talk you through it as well. So we start, you can just slowly start first exhaling. You can close your eyes if you like, and then start your breath. Connected breath means like in and out without stops. So in and out, turn them out. Exhale, inhale, exhale to 75%, hold, and contract the pelvic floor, turn to the roof of your mouth, focus on your third eye as long as you can. Whenever you're ready, inhale, hold again, turn to the roof of your mouth, focus on the third eye. At the same time, try to relax your shoulders, keep the spine tall, relax your jaw. And release. So we'll practice this two more times. Begin your connected breath. Exhale, inhale, exhale out for 75%, hold.
exhale the last 25%. Inhale all in. Hold. Keep focusing on your third eye. And we end release. Last round, you can go faster, as fast as you feel you can. And start to connect the breath again. When you're ready, exhale the last 25%. And then hold again. Lift up to pelvic floor, focus on your third eye. And release as you're ready. And you bring the hands onto the lower belly. Natural breath and just focus for a moment on the energy that you feel flowing through the body from the breath work. And bring your attention down to the sit bones, the pelvic floor area, the root chakra, connecting to the earth. Notice if you feel any tension, if you feel any movement, any contraction or expanding movement without judging, without trying to change it, just noticing what is going on in that area. You feel like you can also bring one hand on the back of the lower spine. Inviting a dark red color, a glow in that area. Expanding it. Breathing into it deeply. Breathing in love. Exhaling any tension. Two more. And then release and we'll move into a butterfly pose. So you can stay seated and bring the soles of the feet together. Knees are out to the side. If your knees are sensitive, bring something underneath the knees, some support, cushion on the sides. And on inhale, lift your chest to lengthen the spine and slowly come forward and roll 
round your spine. And just relax the shoulders, relax into it. You don't have to go deep. Relax the neck and head. If you feel you need some support, you can bring a cushion on your feet and rest your head on top of that. Maybe even bring the elbows on the mat and support your head. If it's okay, you can just relax. So we're opening up the hip area and also rounding the spine. Notice if you feel tension more on the right side or the left side. Notice if you can truly relax so without tensing up in that area. Like if there is tension, you have a tendency to even tense more to protect it, but to really surrender and let go and trust to let it open up and let go of the tension, let it move through the body and out of the body. Bring your attention to the back of your spine. And notice where you feel more. Is it in the lower back, middle back, upper back? You could also just really start at the bottom and then slowly move your way up, just bringing attention and love and breath to each vertebrae, starting at the lower vertebrae and then slowly moving your way up. And if any new sensations start coming up, can you allow them to be there? And really lean into it. We'll be here for one more minute. Last couple of breaths here, rooting down to the base, through the base of your spine into the earth. I am rooted, I am safe. I am rooted, I am safe. I am grounded. And then slowly bring your hands on the ground to slowly come up from the lower back, middle back, upper back. You can bring your hands to the side of the knees to help the knees come up. And then straighten the legs. And roll yourself up on the mat. So you can lie down with a straight spine. 
or the elongated spine. Relax the shoulders, the arms, hand palms up. Let yourself sink back. Notice any subtle sensation moving through the body, the legs, the hips, the spine. Just resting, integrating the pose into the body. At any point you have the sense of lower back, you can always bend your knees. It takes the pressure off the lower back, letting the knees rest against each other. And then slowly start to make your way to one side and press yourself up back to a seated position. So we're going to another hip opening pose it's called fire lock or square pose and here we start with the left leg and bring the left shin parallel to the top of the mat and then also bring the right leg parallel so you bring the right ankle on top of the left knee or in front so depending on your hips or your hip opening bring it in front or on top if there's a lot of space in between, bring something between the knee and the ankle on the other side. So it doesn't matter how it looks like, it can also be here. It's just all about how the hips are here. So this can be quite intense if you're already seated up. So you can stay here and just relax into it, feeling into the hip, hips, the groins, hip flexors or come a little further forward, supporting yourself. If your hips are open more, then you can lean forward. Just make sure you're not going too far because we have all the time in the world, or almost all the time, for a couple of minutes to sink into it. And to be really patient with your body. And realize that just with like a plant or a flower, a tree, you wouldn't start pulling on it to make it grow or to make it bloom. You would just gently invite it and nourish it to open up. So same thing for the body. So in the hips, we hold emotions like anger, frustration. So if anything is coming up, breathe through and release. Notice where you feel the stretch. This is on the outside of the hips, the thighs, butt cheeks.
and we'll release some of the heat and the fire that is coming up from the hip area with the lion's breath. So you open your eyes and your mouth, stick your tongue out, and then on your exhale, you let it all out. Inhale, exhale, two more. Good, one more. Beautiful, close your eyes again to turn inward. Feeling into the hips. Ask yourself, where am I right now? Am I, am I where I want to be? Am I here out of love or out of fear? Can I allow myself to move more towards love? What is stepping out of my comfort zone? What does that mean? Last minute in this pose. Maybe you can sink a little deeper. Make sure you go no further than 70%. So keep your muscles relaxed and sinking into the connective tissue, into the fascia, opening it up softly, slowly. Stretch can be intense. As long as you don't feel that you're really working and making yourself stay here. So you can still be here in relaxation, in softness, with an open heart. And slowly stretch, come back up. Then you can help your top leg straighten. And then the other leg, lean back, hands behind you, so you can just relax and straighten the legs. Maybe wiggle the knees a little bit from side to side. Windshield wipers if you feel like it. And then moving into stillness. And closing your eyes so you can feel what's happening in your legs. The right leg different from the left leg right now. And you feel your toes. And we slowly move to the other side. So now the right leg is in front, 90 degree angle, bringing the left ankle on top of the knee. Yeah, so you like to have the ankle not like collapsing, straight. Good. Yes. And then you like to have a cushion in between if you need to. Yes. And then we slowly move forward. So this side can be completely different than the previous one. But you're staying open. What does this side of my body need? No assumptions, no expectations. 
just being curious with an open mind. Do I feel my hips, thighs, the lower back? Slowly relaxing into this side. Looking for the 70% which might not be all comfortable, but also not stressful for the body. Same thing if you start to move more towards your purpose or stepping into your next challenge. You want to move out of the comfort zone, not too fast, but you want to make steps, which can be scary with an open heart, checking in, tuning in with the heart. Is my heart still jumping for the things where I'm moving towards? If my steps are too big, I might just collapse into anxiety or depression. So take it slow and gentle. Allowing your body to slowly open up. To release the fire and heat in the hips, we'll do the lion's breath three times. Open up your eyes wide, open your mouth, stick your tongue out. Good, turning back in, noticing any changes. Last couple of breaths here. I am grounded. I am supported. I am grounded. I am supported. And then slowly start to come up, help to straighten your legs and make your way down to your Savasana.
We'll move into 11 leg lifts. So you stay on your back on the ground. You can lift your legs up to the sky. You can bring your hands underneath your lower back, the bum, if that helps you. And you can choose here to do either one leg at a time or two legs together. And we inhale when the legs go up and we exhale when the legs go down. So in on first, and exhale, inhale to two, exhale down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Eleven. Slowly down, hover above the ground, and release. Releasing the lower back for a moment, and make your way back up to seated. Move into a squat pose. Bring the feet to the side of the mat. Bring something underneath your heels if you need to. Hands in front of the heart, pressing the elbows against the shin to lift the chest. Lengthening the spine, shoulders down. Breathing in through the top of the head, exhaling through the pelvic floor. Washing through the spine, the shishuna, central channel, all the chakras. Sinking down into your pelvic floor, sacral area. Feel how the weight is in your feet if you're not only leaning on the inside, but also on the outside of the feet. If you like, you can do the chin, like this option to bring the chin to the chest and let the hands rest at the back of your head. And bring the hands on the floor in front of you. Lift your hips up so it comes into a forward fold. Bring the feet the distance, micro bend the knees. And then just relax down from the hips for a moment. You can grab your opposite elbows, leg. So let's neck and head, maybe move your neck. Shaking yes and no to really relax your neck. Feel the stretch from the back of the legs, heels to the hips, hips to the neck. Letting any tension just flow down from your back into the earth. Flow down from your legs through your feet into the earth. The 
any point this is too much for your lower back and bend your knees more and rest your elbows and your thighs. Take some deep breaths. Bringing the hands to the ground. We'll do frog lift. So you bring the feet together, bring the balls of the feet towards each other and heels. Your big toes are pointing out to the side. Knees go out wide. This is the frog. On the inhale, we lift up and exhale down 11 times. Inhale for two. Exhale. Inhale three. Exhale. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good. Feel the heat building up in your body, the fire, bringing the hands in front of you. Go to a cross pose. So the hands are underneath the shoulders. You can straighten the legs, walk your toes behind. Your hands. Now, when you bend the elbows, knees against the upper arms, holding in the pelvic floor, the navel, so all the bandhas, bringing a lock and then float. You can try a couple of times. It's okay when you pull out, forward. Just play with this pose, getting in and out. Look down instead of back, so you look at the ground. Beautiful. <laughs> when you're ready, slowly come back out. Bring your wrist, wrist. And then move into your child's pose. Knees wide to the sides of the mat. Let your body sink in between your thighs, forehead resting on the ground. And slowly brush yourself back up. We'll come to another hip opener. If you feel it's too much for your hips, you can take any other pose. We go to a cow face pose. So you bend the left knee in front of you. And I'm bringing the right knee on top. So if this is not possible for your lower leg, for the hip, you can keep the leg straight, bending the right knee on top. And also here, if there is a lot of space in between the knees, bring some support. So your feet are on either opposite sides. And we inhale, lift the chest and slowly move forward. Also here, it might be quite intense. So you can stay up straight or come forward as you wish. Taking the time again, remember the flower tree, the softness for your body. You can just slowly sink into the pose. Breathing towards the intensity of the stretch, softening it, release the tension on your exhale.
Relax your thighs, relax your lower back, relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Tuning in, asking yourself, asking your heart, if I would feel 100% safe and grounded in myself, wherever I am, where would I go, what would I do? Notice if you can allow yourself to sink a little deeper. If it's getting too intense, just come up a little bit in the last minutes. And slowly start to bring yourself back up. Help your upper leg straighten the other leg and then come to your Savasana for a moment. Straighten your legs and relax down into the ground, into the earth. And slowly start to make your way back up so you can move to the other side. Good. 
sending the right knee in front and the left knee on top. So it might be that on this side you need to straighten the lower left, so just be open. What do I need here? What does my body need? And finding your way back to the 70%. Starting slow. Stay curious with an open heart. Notice where you feel the stretch in your thighs, your hips. Breathe into the tension and exhale, release. Tuning in to your heart again. If I would be 100% safe now and always, safe and grounded within myself. Could I become quiet enough to hear the whispers of the heart? What is it telling me? What are the messages? Trust in the process. And letting go. One last minute, maybe you can sink a little deeper or stay where you are. And then slowly start to come back up. Make your way to your savasana, your final savasana. Make yourself comfortable. Sink into the mat.
And then slowly deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingertips, your toes. And when you're ready, make your way to seat position again. And when you're seated, you can bring your hands on your thighs, hands down to ground, or hands on the lower belly if you feel like that. We're tuning in to the root and the sacral. Masculine and the feminine energies, the structure holding us, supporting us, creating safety. And the feminine, the creative. flow and expands and find new ways time and time again. So let's chant for one minute the seed sounds for the root, lam, and then one minute the seed sound for the sacral, vam. Exhale all the air up. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Lum, 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 Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Holding a little space in between the hands for your intention. And by your heads to your heart in gratitude and love for your practice, for yourself, for your body, your space and time, for our connections, being here together today. Satnam, Aloha, blessing, have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.